why high blood sugar is dangerous. It may seem that glucose is just sugar, but when there is too much of it in the bloodstream, a chain of harmful processes begins. This is Dr. Marina with daily tips for better health and weight loss. Subscribe to the channel to learn more useful information. Let's continue. One, cells starve even when sugar is high. If glucose stays in the blood, it means the cells are not receiving it. They remain without fuel, cannot function properly, and begin to use fats and proteins for energy. This leads to the formation of ketone bodies, which can poison the cells. Two, glucose is a highly reactive chemical. It easily binds to other molecules. When glucose levels stay high for a long time, it begins to damage the cells of blood vessel walls and other insulin-independent tissues. Over time, small capillaries become fragile and can rupture, causing microbleeds, bruises, impaired microcirculation, and tissue areas that no longer receive oxygen or nutrients, they begin to die. Three, blood itself can damage tissues. During a microbleed, enzymes in the blood, proteases, literally break down the surrounding cells, digesting them. The result? With insufficient insulin, insulin-dependent organs starve. Insulin-independent organs suffer from excess glucose that destroys their tissues. All of this leads to gradual cell death. That's why chronically high blood sugar is so dangerous.